in the back that you need to turn on. Um, the machine needs to warm up. So I just turned it on, you shouldn't do that. It needs to warm up. Um, so know that it's warming up, there's a heater down here and this white piece behind the purple should actually be warm to touch. If you touch it, it's actually hot right now. Um, the other day we tried to start a test, that piece actually wasn't plugged in anymore and so it doesn't read appropriately. So you really actually get screwed when that happens. So check to see if it's hot. Should, should be hot, should be on. Um, you also need to always change this time in the lower corner. Um, for some reason the computer turns on, it's always 2011 and it's really early in the morning. Wasn't a bad year. <laughs> uh, I think I disagree. Um, so you need to just change the date and the time. Otherwise, if you would run the test and I ran the test two weeks ago at that exact same date and time according to the computer, the test you just ran is gone. You will never get it back. Wow. So you won't ever be able to look it up again. You can print it off right after you finish it, um, but it won't save. So that's pretty much starting the computer. You wanna make sure that's changed, um, then you're ready to go. We have to do two calibrations. So the easiest one to do is a gas calibration. So on the left, you see here it says gas. Um, click that, this is essentially going to give the machine or the parvo um, a very specific concentration that we know from this little I don't know, canister on the left. So we need to make sure that it knows what the humidity is and temperature is in the air because that causes it to read differently. That changes pressures, it changes space essentially inside. Um, oh shoot. For some other reason this guy didn't turn on. All right, so if this guy ever doesn't turn on for you, it should automatically turn on. You just hold this done button. That's how it will actually restart. Um, if you see on the top here, we have the temperature in the room. So these things need to match. So this says room temp 23, this is 22. So we change it to 22. We then need the barometric pressure, which is here, which is 742.6, which is very different from what we had before. And then the relative humidity is right here, and that should just be 54. So you just need to match those three numbers. Um, these numbers here, you should not have to change. So room air is always expected to be room air. That shouldn't change except for how I'm breathing. And the standard gas should also not need to be changed unless you put a new canister on. Then you need to be able to check that it's actually correct. So if you really wanna know, um, if you look on this canister, it says 4.000% CO2, 16.00% O2. So that's why it says 16 and four. Um, right there. Sometimes we'll have canisters that are 15.9999 and 3.99999 or something like that. So you just need to change it to make sure it matches. And um, then we're just going to click OK. And essentially the computer will tell you what to do. So turn the gas cow counterclockwise 90 degrees. It's just this little black guy. Turn him 90 degrees. He's on. Click OK. Essentially what it's doing now is it's 15 seconds for steady flow. It's really just clearing its own lines out. Um, so you can watch the numbers change if you want. It gives 15 seconds to clear the lines. And then now you see it's sampling room air so we don't hear anything. Oh, that was too slow. It was room air, five seconds of room air sampling. Now you can hear that the machine turned on and there's air coming out of the tank. 15 seconds to clear the line, and then it will actually sample for five seconds here. It says turn it off, so you do as it says, and you click OK. So this reading is 1.3 and 0.3. Um, we want them all to be at least less than 1%. Um, because the barometric pressure was very different between today and the last time it was calibrated, I'm going to click OK and I'm going to do it again. More than likely, this essentially compares it to the old reading, so the last one we did. Okay, So it doesn't mean I did anything wrong or that the machine really messed things up. It's just very different than the time before. So I'm just going to click Save and try it again and see if we get something very similar.
like all of us being around this right now Probably and like getting be, yeah. hot and like talking and stuff, it's going to change the numbers that we're reading. Obviously, we wouldn't usually have 12 people, you know, gathered around the machine. Um, but. So then that's obviously way less than 1% because we did them both right in a row. So it's good to go. It's actually reading appropriately. And we'll just click save and we're done with that.